we are seeing the director of Andha Dhun, the Johnny Gadda, the Badlapur, and we are waiting six years, so are you. Okay, various bits. We can't wait one evening. I want to talk about your patience levels. So wonderful, they are so interpersonal. I felt like I was part, you know, I felt like I was with Katrina and Vijay, which is, I think, what you succeeded to do. But can you give me a mantra for patience? Mantra for patience, I don't know, but uh, uh, what happened in this film is there were a lot of extraordinary circumstances. We, I think, signed Vijay on his birthday when? That was 2021, I think, no? 21. Then there was COVID, like all these boring things. The usual, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, but, but on a general level also, filmmakers need a lot more patience. What is your, do you do yoga? Or what is it that you do that, if some th supposing things aren't going right, what is it your mantra for, for the day? No, I, I have a lot of vices and all that, so... <laughs> not. Katrina, this is, uh, you know, it's fantastic. You start the year, I mean, you end of the year with a bang, you know, and you come back in with this. And I think, uh, when you look at the last decade, you know, I think there's been a remarkable change in uh, what the lead heroines of our uh, Bollywood film industry have actually experienced. And you know, you've been at one of the forefronts of that. Uh, you've been very brave always, you know, now this action heroine of Tar also is there with you. This is brilliant, you know, how there's just such interpersonal connections between just two people. This is of course a who done it. If there is, I mean, I'm not too sure what it is. But there's always so much that has changed, you know, and you've been pretty much, there was one of those two, three actresses that has been in the forefront. So just describe the last decade of change as actors, you know, especially for the lead heroines of films that you've experienced personally also, that, you know, we've all seen. Would love to hear that from you as well. First of all, uh, Happy New Year, everyone. And um, I think for me, I always see there are good directors and there are good stories. And that's always been my intention is to be a part of a story. And in a setup, I, I always believe that a movie, the director is the captain of the ship. So that's where it starts from. It doesn't. It's just. It's not. An, it's not just the actors. So I think this was a, con a combination of some really important factors to me. Um, working with Sri Ram Raghavan, that was always on my bucket list to do. And um, he's been one of my favorite directors. And when I heard the story, I, I was in awe that I was going to get to work with him in a story like this, which was so incredible. But also, I think was right for me. And I think that's probably why Sir and me came together for this film, because he must have also seen that in um, in the character. Now that you've seen the trailer, you am sure you've seen it a few times. When you see it out here on the big screen, first time, right? I, I mean, it has to be like, you know, when a batsman is also batting and he sees a lovely shot, he says, ah, nice shot there. When you see yourself out there, you are, that inner praise must happen once in a while. Do you like what you saw? I mean, I think the film has come together beautifully, both the films actually, because as you saw, there's a Hindi version and there's a Tamil version. That was for us a big challenge because um, the kind of scenes, the nature of the scenes to perform those scenes in Tamil is a challenge because obviously that's a, that's a completely different language for me. But I think both of the films have come out beautifully. They're both films that I'm very proud to be a part of and that I can't wait to now share with the audience on January 12th. Yeah, we're waiting for that. I'd like to call Pooja Lala as well, the editor of the film. Can I please have another chair up on stage, please? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Why is a fantastic question. And uh, Girish, uh, I'd like to call you as well on stage, please. Do you like that quote? Would you rather be an actor who's then become a star because of his exploits? Happy New Year. You too, sir. I don't find any difference. Everybody's an actor. So, it sounds like the star doesn't need to act. It's not like that. So, so uh, we are here to, we are here to part of stories and characters. We are just supporting the storytellers. That's what I believe. We don't have any information before the film starts. Even when we go to set house, the first day when we went to the set, I told Pooja Maya and Sri sir, the house is full of emptiness. So we always depend on our directors. See, um, suppose uh, my, my directors are asking for an elephant. <clears throat> I may imagine elephant very bigger, red color. So he may demand that the elephant in a green color very small. So what perception? and what kind of elephant, and how it should behave, and how old is the elephant. So everything is dependent on the directors. So the actors, everybody is 
We everybody stars and we everybody actors. That's the humility of the man. And that's why I think, sir, you're such a favorite with everyone. And this gentleman right next to you is a favorite for years for all of us. And he's been a favorite for... Two years ago, I said, I'll tell you a little bit. Before I ask you all these heavy questions about your relationship with tips and all that, sir, can I please understand what is it that is not in the menu in all these households? Is it shared across with everybody on a WhatsApp group? Yes, I'm not eating. Yes, I'm not eating. Because here, when there is one KG loss, there is an Instagram story post and one big video made. Can I please understand what is the magic of this Kapoor Khandan? No, uh, there's no magic. Whatever is made, I think the Bodhi eats it all. So, Anil and me don't get to eat anything. Yeah. That's the magic. Yeah. Ah, so, the disappearing dishes. But of course, you've had a brilliant journey uh, with this association with tips from Bikabu and Ozar. Uh, now, Merry Christmas. You've seen, I mean, I've seen so much of you also uh, in the last couple of years. You know, thanks to OTT, also, we've seen a lot more of you. I know you're enjoying that phase as well. But there's always something that is there with Ramesh Ji and you, and there's that relationship that is there. Would you dare ever say no to him if, he get, if you get a call? Does, does that happen? No, I don't think so. Actually, uh, our journey was uh, very interesting. His first picture that he financed was Bekabu, which uh, I was part of. The first picture he produced was Ozar, which I was part of. And I think so one of the biggest hits uh, in music which he gave was Raja, which I was part of. And I'm part of Andadon and this is going to be even bigger. Big round of applause. I mean, that's... The hat-trick has already happened, our quadruple is happening there. What's the relationship like? Are you all on... Like, when the film is happening, is there a daily chat Acha watch? No, not at all. For me, uh, the most exciting thing of this film was when uh, Shri Ram sir called me to the office. When I was sitting in the car, I said, yeah, I hope my role is good enough. How will I say no to him? Because I was so excited to be part of a film that is uh, directed by Shri Ram sir. When I heard the way he narrates, he doesn't give you the full thing. He narrates in about 20 minutes and he gives you the whole gist of the thing. And I said, nee, I've got something to do. I was very happy. And when I said yes, that I'm going to be part, the most exciting part was he said, just a minute, just a minute. He went to all the ADs. For me, that was the most touching moment when he went to all the ADs and he said, Sanjay said yes to the film. So that is, for me, that is the most special moment of this picture. It should respect always perfect and there's a lot of respect for you Varun as well. Aap jab likhte hai, aap jab logo se baat karte hai, I think uh, the last three years has been another great connection with people that great writers like yourself and you know realism has actually come out a lot. I mean there was a time I think there was a lot of things that we couldn't say, it was unsaid or grey area mein rata tha aur hum log aise beautiful relations hai, har koi kisi ka dost tha. I think you're one of the few that has actually spoken out there, you know I respect your voice a lot. And also you're a wonderful writer and that's the reason why I think we need more of you. Are you writers? Do you want to fight? Yes, I think there are a lot of things that have changed. In the last 10 years, I've seen it. I've been 15 years in this city. And in the beginning, you find yourself in the city. After that, you find yourself in the city. After that, that time comes when people find you. So, that time, I've seen it in the last 10 years. I've seen people find writers. People are finding 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 writers. And a lot of it has to do with, I think, the new kind of cinema that is being made, you know, and uh, Sri Ram Raghun is part of that new kind of cinema, or Anurag Kashyap, or Vishal Bhardwaj. So there is this whole, uh, ek nai tarhe ka cinema jo 10-15 saal mein aaya hai, jaha writers ko idzat mil rahi, kyunki kahaniyaan bhi nai hai. Woh kahaniyaan hai, jo sirf wahi ek awaad, ye wahi ek insaan keh sakta hai, wahi writer keh sakta hai, woh generic kahaniyaan nahi hai. To us wajay se bhi, meri khayal se idzat badi hai, और अगेन जस्ट टू कम बैक टू मेरी क्रिसमस ये बहुत ही मेरे लिए बहुत बड़ी बात थी कि टू टू यू नो टू गेट अ कॉल टू वर्क ऑन योर फिल्म इन लिरिक्स राइटिंग कैपेसिटी विद श्रीराम राघवन एंड पूजा लाडा सुर्ती काइंड ऑफ क्रिएटिंग दिस अनदर न्यू इंटीमेट वर्ल्ड जो हम पिछली कई फिल्मों से इनके देख रहे हैं and uh, the cherry on the top for me was that Pritam is uh, music and he is getting the whole album with him. I am a very big fan of him for many years. Before this, I was just one song that came to me from Dunkey, from a Chalwe Vatna name. But this is a full album. And it was a lot of fun. It is a different world in this film, which you will see quickly. And in that world, there are very narrative-driven songs. No one it's not a part of the film, it's a part of the film and it's a part of the narrative. 
सो सो यार आपका एक सवाल था मैंने दो जवाब दे दिए दूसरा सवाल समझ रहे हैं क्या था ये जो फिल्म की नैरेटिव की बात करें द सॉन्ग दिस ऑल्सो अ ब्रिलियंट इट डस गो फॉरवर्ड लाइक दैट संजय जी यू नो लोग ऑलमोस्ट बोलते हैं कि जब फिल्म में ऑडियंस आती है ना या तो स्टार के लिए आएगी या स्केल के लिए आजकल स्केल बड़ा बहुत सही बन रहा है जी डू यू एवर गेट स्ट्रेस मैंने आपको लाइफ में कभी स्ट्रेस करते हुए देखा है आप बड़ी फिल्में बनाते हैं ब्यूटीफुल फिल्म बनाते हैं कॉन्सेप्ट फिल्म बनाते हैं यू नो एज ए प्रोड्यूसर आपके लिए क्या चीज होती है कि ओके आई पिक दिस दिस इज एक्साइटिंग मी डेफिनेटली स्टोरी तो है पहली थी और श्रीराम हमेशा अपनी डायरेक्शन पंद्रह मिनट में ही सुनाते हैं बैक टाइम पे तो मैं आधा दिन का भी पार्ट होने वाला था लेकिन वो हमने इनको भी मालूम वो जर्नी सब हीरो को सुनाई किसी को पंद्रह मिनट में समझ नहीं आई बाद में रिलीज होने के बाद हर एक्टर का फोन आया आपको करनी है ये पिक्चर सर छह साल से अभी तक लोग लास्ट सीन देख रहे हैं कि क्या हुआ है लास्ट सीन में पंद्रह मिनट कैसे समझेंगे श्रीराम इज ही नोज इज जॉब वैन और जो भी उन्होंने पिक्चरें बनाई पाए तो उसमें तो एक हसीना थी से लेके जॉनी गदार से लेके जितनी भी पिक्चरें बनाई सब बहुत अच्छी पिक्चरें बनाई और एक बहुत अच्छी थ्रिलर की जो एक होती है ना जो ऑडियंस को कॉन्फिडेंस में लेके आप थ्रिलर बनाओ तो दैट्स अ वेरी गुड आई थिंक ऐसा डायरेक्टर और कोई नहीं है हमारे हिंदी फिल्म इंडस्ट्री ओनली स्टील पूजा जी वेन यूर सिटिंग एंड एंड डिसाइडिंग लाइक दिस फिफ्टीन मिनट डायरेक्शन You are also there. You are writing it and making sure the twists and turns are fantastic. Are you worried? This 15 minutes should should sometimes when you look at an actor, say, "Just a 40 minutes, can we do it?" So, just explain a little bit more. No, no. I yeah. think it's a very organic. Shiram is trying to when when you're asking about narrating to actors, True. idea is to give them a sense of what the movie is more. Uh, Um, a holistic sense of the movie rather than the twists and turns. Out, oh, iske baad ye hua, iske baad wo hua. Is tarah ka narration chalam karte nahi hai. The uh, I think uh, uh, as far as the writing is concerned, we we tend to uh, write in detail, and then it, the, a version of which is narrated, and then a version of which is shot. That is where the details come in, really. So I don't. ऐसा तो कभी नहीं कि अच्छा थोड़ा और बता देंगे ऐसा कुछ नहीं. I think he puts all his cards on the table. Uh, he says these are the characters. Uh, all the actors who come in kind of know what they are signing up for. So. there works sir i'm said you is narration the most important is it like the closure <coughs> when, you, when you say that there's an investment bank has to go and close the deal can you mess up a really good script with a very bad narration with a big actor do you think that's ever happened see sometimes that's happened to me also they like, you know that they are not probably saying it properly and so on so but i feel uh, a good story you can't narrate badly really no and kharab story you got to bahut drama karke bhi wo narration fake lagta hai aap sun bhi le rahe <laughs> it works you heard or you heard me yeah, i had this this in my ear also this so right now is a turtle like a pilot so what i'm saying is ki i narrate it because on the it's like a talking to a, the, the actors also you can see his his or her face and you know is that maza aa raha hai idhar nahi aa raha hai kind of a thing you know once it also happened ki when i was writing johnny gadda to really sin and i was writing in detail तो इतना मैं डील में बोल रहा कि आई आई कुड सी शी इज ट्राइंग टू स्टॉप अ यॉन तो मैं बोला एक मिनट में आता हूं पानी पी के आता हूं और गिव अ टाइम यू नो सो वो भी करना पड़ता है हाउ इज द हाउ इज द रिस्पांस विद द टू ऑफ देम एंड यू आर नरेटिंग आई एक्चुअली कटीना लेट लेट्स आस्क यू हाउ इज दिस नो श्रीराम सर वी रियली गेट टू हियर हिम टॉक दिस इज दिस इज वेरी एंटरटेनिंग या या ही डजंट टॉक मच ऑन सेट एट ऑल डू आई आई सी आई एम वाचिंग आई एम वाचिंग सो दिस इज अ वेरी एंटरटेनिंग फॉर मी We actually come. So, was it tough to Derek? Or was it like an immediate? See, there has to be. You're an ISIS fan also. It's not difficult. But you, which I like to know. One second, I think I'm myself. One second, myself. Mike, yeah. Ah, oh, Vijay, I made a Zoom me narrate. Kya tha? He was in Chennai, so I narrate. Kya or? Was he enjoyed the thing? It was about ne. Pandra minutes is a. Sometimes it's flexible. I thought this movie is going to be 90 minutes without interval, but it's not interval. Hai. So theatre owners will be very happy. I think we get more shows also. Girish, good to see you. It's been a while. You know, whenever you see uh, uh, like a trailer out there, under see the voice they give. You are part of the family. You yourself are come on screen also. When you see a film out there, Baba, it's nice. It works well. Is that come out in, from you know your instincts of the Torani Parivar? That's like you know how I wake up in the morning. Very good. So it's an innate answer. And Are you allowed to say it? I didn't like it a little bit. In private, yes. Okay. But uh, I think uh, if you see our track record, yeah. coming from as uh, Sanjay sir said, Ozar and the race, um, we made Chhapda Kisi Se Hota. So many films yeah. uh, over the course of our uh, uh, life story of our tips, yeah. 
I think uh, we have a knack and touch wood, we have one of the best success ratios in terms of hit films. Yeah. Touch wood, that's been working for us and I think with good team members, good cast and crew, it's it's all uh, cherry on the cake. Yeah, this one's going to have both sides, man. Critical acclaim as well as commercial success. Yes, Kival ji, when you hit the entry in the film, after the film's product, is there any opinion on this film or is it just the box office? Very good. The box office is good. The producer should be able to take it. Happy New Year. I don't want to make a different field. I am not from the film industry. I was very proud of my childhood. I came to the film industry. I did good. I am happy to thank you. I am happy to take you to this film. I am happy to work with me. I am a producer of two films. Sir, you have a box office very easily, sir. The return on investment is very high, it works. Just before I open up to the public as well, Kriti, I'm going to ask you this, you know, whenever you, you're out there in the middle of the film and you're seeing it unravel, this one is a lot of one-on-one. Would you, you know, can you get like a little bit stuck and say that, you know, should I, I only listen to Sri Ram, sir, or, you know, you're seeing there's a lot that can happen because I've heard that you're superbly rehearsed. As an actor, you're looking to tell a story and be part of a story, which is really interesting. And for me, Merry Christmas ticked all those boxes. It was a really, really unique journey, a unique story about two fascinating characters. And the minute I heard it, I was hooked. I'm not observing or I'm not calculating. That goes into calculating. Of course, there are high octane, you know, big action drama films. And that's wonderful. That's a certain type of cinema. But there are also more intimate, um, unique stories to be told, and that story has to be told at a scale that is suitable for that particular kahani. And I think that for an actor to be able to do both is what we're supposed to be doing and what um, I personally enjoy doing. And like I said, for me, this was a Sri Ram Raghavan film that I thought had a fantastic story and I was excited to be part of the journey. It was a very interesting journey, actually. There's many parts of the journey that even uh, Sir has not shared yet. There were many twists and turns, even in the journey of making... Shooting of it, yeah. E even before we got on set, it had a lot of... Um, had, a, had a life of its own. And when it finally kind of landed up um, as uh, me and Vijay being in the film, the first day of kind of interaction for me was very fascinating. The minute I uh, start, I heard Vijay describe and talk about a scene, I instantly realized, okay, this is a person who sees things in such a unique way that I can never see a scene in that way. And for me, that was really exciting, to be able to come together and work with people who very evidently see things completely different to the way I would um, have a take on something. And for all three of us to come together, and um, Sir does a lot of rehearsals, and we uh, we would do the workshop on the actual set for about I think it was a week before we started shoot. And they were, I was always like, so Sir, when do we start? There was no commitment of when we start. We'll start when it's ready, when he's feeling it. And I think that process was very unique for me as an actor, and extremely, uh, it was extremely magical. I think to be able to have been a part of this process of Merry Christmas. Yeah, this one's nice on the on the report card of your own also, you know, that you've done. But you were very true about him looking at it in a very unique way. He mentioned about the elephant, but not once did he say the grey colour. It was red or green. So, so I realised when you were talking about the elephant also, from the director's perspective also it's green, yours is red. But you would have all thought one option should have been the grey colour. So when she is saying that you see things very differently, I do agree that you see things very differently. One last question, Shri Ram sir, before I open up. When you make a hood on it, or you make like this twists and turns, this is what we assume with a film like this. When you see the final cut, can you have the itch to change few things? Who will be able to tell us the truth. So by the time it's ready, I mean, it's the final cut is only when we are happy. I mean, so that way there's no issue. And were you, uh, but like when, when we go back to Antaton also, we're shocked at the number of turns. Even this film has so many turns. Are you able to shock the audience? in this case, that is watching it for the first time? Well, about this film, I won't yeah. talk now, but uh, let them watch and let them see it. But uh, what I'm saying is that when you watch a thriller or a film like this, na, the audience is very engaged and they are making up their own story. They are trying to say, okay, abhi ye hoga, abhi ye hoga. Now, how much you can support that, how much you can sort of give them a surprise within, they are also writing their own script yeah. while the movie is on. 
So it is that is the fun I think. They work well. We'll open up to the audience and uh, we've got a mic that is actually yeah right there. Please. Hi everyone, happy new year. Uh, my question is for Katrina and I'm from News 18. Uh, Katrina, can you tell us a little bit about you know your meeting with Mr. Vijay, Vijay Sethupati on the first day? How was that like? And uh, secondly, did you hit it off instantly or did it take some time for the both of you to break the ice? Well, if we didn't hit it off instantly, I wouldn't tell you. <laughs> no, I'm joking. We, um, we, our first meeting actually was all three of us together in a room. And I had recently seen a picture of Vijayasur and he had full white hair and a white beard. I don't know if you've seen that. It's, it's, if you see on the internet, it's a very kind of uh, picture which comes a lot. So I had seen him um, with his full white hair and beard. So when I walked into the office, I didn't know quite what to expect. And when I saw him like this, I was like, oh wow, that's, that's a really different look. But um, I was honestly, it was everything for me about this film. I was extremely excited to be working with Sriram sir and with Vijay sir. And as soon as we came together in a room, I think everyone came just as themselves. And we instantly were able to connect as I said, I think the minute Vijay sir started speaking about the scene, it was fascinating for me. I just thought that, okay, this is the person who views things in such a unique way. And Shriram sir has a very unique take on everything he does. It's the way he sees stories, it's the way he sees people. And um, it was just about us coming together and um, finding a rhythm and finding our own way of working and bringing the script to life on film. Hi, uh, Ramesh sir, this side. Hi, I have a question for you. Uh, post the COVID era, Masi films are working very well in theatres. But when you decide to come out with a film like Merry Christmas, which is this intimate, quirky thriller as we term it, how are you feeling as a producer about the film? I am supremely confident on this film. I understand that the picture of Amesha is always good or bad. Whether it's a thriller or a genre or a big picture, you know, like Tiger or Jawal. It's always good and it's always a cost. If you want to make a big picture, it's a cost. The cost is always a cost. So it's always dependent upon what you are making. And if that story and when it's always dependent upon what you are making, and if that story and जब audience theatre में picture देखने आता है, उनको अगर वो exciting लगता है और उनको gripping लगता है, तो वो definitely उन work करती है। सांसद जी, आपसे भी मेरा यही सवाल था कि 2023 industry के लिए बहुत ही अच्छा साल रहा है। आप आगे content कैसे देखते हैं आने वाले समय में? How do you feel the content is going to shape further and starting with Merry Christmas being the first release for the CEO? So you know if if a story is good, it will work. You know, and Madhav, I agree with you that all big action, big ticket films are doing well. But recently, there's a film which came from Vidhu Vinod Chopra. And, you know, that is my answer. Hi, Vijayasa, towards your left. It so attracts you to pick up a role which is complex or negative. सब कुछ नहीं है, सब एवरीथिंग इज़ कॉम्प्लेक्स। We always think that if something we see is difficult, that's only difficult. Standing in front of the camera always it's difficult. We're doing billion rows, I enjoy. I enjoy so much, you know that. I can't torture anybody in real life, I can't kill anybody in real life. I get a chance and I can I can express that also, wholeheartedly. You know, I killed that person, you know, you know who I am. And imagining I was so fast and I'm a highly egoistic person. You may have a ego so much, but you can't act. You can't show it to everybody, you have to pretend. No, I'm very humble, I said, you know, but, uh, they can and on screen too, you can express yes, can laugh, you can play with the emotions. It's a fun, okay. 
expressions. Uh, let's talk about food. Please don't think bad about me. And expressions are like food and taste. Since it's inside your mind, I want to have all the taste. That's all, nothing. किस तरह से आपने मैरी क्रिसमस को कॉन्टेंट ड्रिवन भी बनाने की कोशिश की है साथ में कमर्शियल फिल्म भी बनाने की कोशिश की है मैं ऐसा अलग अलग नहीं सोचता यार एक कहानी अच्छी लगी तो फिर हम सोचते हैं कि लोगों को मुझे अच्छी लगी मेरी टीम को अच्छी लगी तो लोगों को अच्छी लगी कि नहीं यही मेन है और कितने लोगों को अच्छी लगेगी कितना बजट होना चाहिए वो सब फिल्म पर डिपेंड होता है और थोड़ा बहुत प्रोड्यूसर पर होता है बट मेनली इट इज लाइक मतलब यू लाइक अ स्टोरी मैं उतना ही उतना ही देखता हूँ कि कहानी मुझे कनेक्ट हो रहा है कि मैं मुझे हो रहा है तो मैं भी ऑडियंस में बैठता हूँ तो मुझे इट विल कनेक्ट टू एज मेनी पीपल लाइक मी इन द हॉल यू नो एंड रिगार्डिंग इसका हिंदी तमल वर्जन क्योंकि मैं मैं खुद एक तमलियन हूँ और मैं मेरी एक इच्छा है कि एक तमल में एक फिल्म बनाऊँ मैं मैं मुंबई में रहा हूँ इतने सालों से अपनी एक मराठी फिल्म भी मुझे करने की इच्छा है तो ये सब ये इस पर फिर फिल्म मुझे चांस मिला वो करने का क्योंकि विजय इज एन एक्टर फ्रॉम दे एंड इट विल बी इंटरेस्टिंग टू जस्ट राइट आउट लेकिन मैं दोबारा शायद नहीं करूंगा एक क्योंकि बहुत मेहनत है और बहुत टॉर्चर हो जाता है हम लोगों को क्योंकि एक सीन शूट किया हमने हिंदी में उसके दस दिन के बाद वही सीन फिर से कर रहा है थोड़ा अलग करते हैं या क्या करते हैं क्या वही कैमरा एंगल वही लाइटिंग वही सब करना इट इज नॉट सो मच पा दे एडवेंचर डिस्कवरी इज नॉट दे बट फिर भी आई एंजॉय माई सेल्फ बिकॉज आपने हाल फिलहाल में शुरुआत की है मुंबई कर की थी जवान की और अब मेरी क्रिसमस आ रही है आपने शाहरुख खान के साथ काम किया कटीना के साथ काम किया श्री राम राघवन जो वन ऑफ द मोस्ट रिमार्केबल और प्रोलिफिक डायरेक्टर माने जाते हैं इस कंट्री के उनके साथ काम किया मैं जानना चाहूंगा की क्या फ्यूचर की अगर बात करें तो ऐसे कौन से एक्टर्स हैं मेल फीमेल या कौन से ऐसे डायरेक्टर्स हैं जिनके साथ आप काम करना चाहेंगे और कैसा रहा कटीना और श्री राम सर के साथ काम करना आपके सर आई डोंट हैव एनी पर्टिकुलर विश इसके साथ काम करना है उसके साथ ऐसा कुछ नहीं एंड मोस्टली आई डोंट डिस्कस दैट विद माई डायरेक्टर्स दैट इज डिपेंड ऑन माई डायरेक्टर्स दे है So, मुझे ऐसा कुछ भी नहीं है आई एम जस्ट ओनली डिपेंड ऑन द फिल्म मेकर्स एंड द स्टोरीज अफकोर्स विद प्रोड्यूसर्स दैट्स मेन कंसर्न एंड सर मैं बहुत सोच के सोच के बात हूँ सर दिमाग में एक डाउन टेबल कॉन्फ्रेंस चलता है सर कब भी जब सवाल आएगा तो वो पाँच छः आठ लोग बैठ गए ये बोलो ये बोलो करके बोलता है मैं तो फिल्टर करना पड़ता है सो सर मैं जवाब अभी बाकी है सर सो विद कटिना रियली आई डोंट हाउ टेक आई नेवर एक्सपेक्ट दर आई लोक दिस एक्टर आई एम वेरी बिग फैन ऑफ कटिना and then uh, it was like yeah it was like <laughs> so i was very happy when i see her on first day of katrina okay i so i couldn't express it suppose if there is another person inside me who can come out and dance with you or dance in front of katrina like so much so it didn't happen there uh, and she she is very thought process actor she has so much questions she thinks too much but she is still she is very dedicated and she is trying to understand she may come up with an idea but she is she is very adaptable she understands you and if she if, even if she can't accept your thoughts also she will listen to you and then uh she will she will put lot of effort and so much of sensibility uh, and uh, to make the scene better that's why she is in the industry not only she is so beautiful she is so sensible that's what i believe Just a beauty can survive for so many years. It's sense and then uh, uh, understanding should be there. Which I, which I can. Uh, I felt it when I was working with because I'm, I'm a person. I, I read my co-actors. I read my cameraman. I sense my set and then uh, I understand my director's vision. I try to crack their minds. Then only I can go and fit it. Otherwise, I'll be separate uh, out of the set. It's like. So, as far as my understanding, she is very sensible. She is so beautiful. And uh, Sri Ram sir, I have nothing wrong with you. Thank you.
And how was it? I don't know. I don't know why everybody is laughing. I think I'm talking very seriously. <laughs> and how was it working with Sri Ram sir? Sri Ram sir. Sri Ram sir. Hi sir. It was. It was really, really. He's very sweet. I met him in Melbourne. I mean, I met Melbourne film festival. Award function was there. I got it. I got it. And then uh, first I thought this man is very serious. Actually, he's not at all serious. Uh, and then, uh, uh, and then the cute thing he does is every time whenever he wanted to say something, he take a video and send me that. I have those videos. It's a very beautiful memory. What happened between me and Sri Ram sir? It was very beautiful memory. So I always, uh, if there is anything good, uh, a day or my birthday or something, even if he want to talk to me also. He sent me a video. I said, "Vijay, call me when you are free." I said, "Okay, message please then." So I like the way being himself. It's very uh, good to watch uh, Sri Ram sir and spending time with him. And uh, according to film, uh, the great thing I learned from him is I spent about 25 to 30 days with Sri Ram sir. So uh, when the what I believe is when the directors when they write a story or something and they discuss a story. To decide, to decide a dialogue. Suppose if there is a scene, there is a dialogue. So they take so much of time to come to the dialogue. This is the dialogue my actors are going to speak. But before that, they might have so many thoughts. So everything they can't communicate to actors. So if I, when I spend time with my director, I can understand the person who he is and how he wanted to conceive the film and everything. That happened between me and him, and then. I am applying those uh, tactics in my next films also, which is helping me so much. It is it is giving me freedom of thoughts and expressions when I go to set. So he made me so comfort. And my birthday is Jan 16, and his first film is released on Jan 16. And that day we had a very big party. It was very nice. Uh, so it was fun. And thanks to Pooja. This year also cooperating yeah. Mumbai. Mumbai also going to play a kind of character within the plot line. No, definitely this kind of story. I needed a city which has, you know, where the Christmas is celebrated. It's Pune, I know because I've grown up there. But क्या हुआ कि Pune में हमने रखी भी किया, हमने locations में देखा, लेकिन क्योंकि COVID के just बाद था, nobody was, everybody was reluctant to give out their houses, give out locations and so on. और तो फिर हमने सोचा कि Bombay में करेंगे, थोड़ा बहुत control situation में करेंगे ऐसा, that way. And Bombay is a, I mean. It's, it's a great city. Only and plus, we are shooting a Bombay of. I mean, we are showing the Bombay of the 1980s. Now, today's Bombay is not so good. It's 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 so and uh, Katrina ji, here. Yeah, Rajiv again. Yeah, left on the meeting after a long time. Uh, Katrina ji, how how was the experience of playing such a nuanced character vis-a-vis -vis, you know somebody who's just a glamour doll or somebody like in Tiger Three, you're continuing a character which you have played before and you know doing all the action as well. I think I see things um, a little different, perhaps. Um, I actually think that the character of Zoya is one of the strongest female characters I've ever had a chance to play. And I think, it, especially in Tiger 3, it was so beautifully nuanced and so well written by Manish Sharma. And um, I thoroughly enjoyed being able to play that character. But that, wor that world, that film, and that character has its own charm. Um, a character like the character I'm playing in um, Merry Christmas. It's a different world. It's a different tone. It's a different language. Um, it's a different pace. It's a different rhythm. So coming into that world, which was Sri Ram Raghavan's world, the first thing that I needed to do was to come in with an open mind. We had been discussing this film for a good, I think, almost a year and a half before we got on the set. And we had, the first thing Sri Ram sir asked me to do was to write a backstory of who this woman was. The character's name is Maria, and he told me, like uh, he heard you heard earlier, that he gave about a you know 20 minute narration, and he asked me then to write Maria's backstory. Where was she? What drove her to you know uh, to become the way she is? What did she feel? What had happened in her life? So that whole process was an extremely um, helpful process, I think. 
Uh, we worked very hard before coming on set. I did a lot of workshops. Um, a lot of workshops with a few different people. Sriram sir had a workshop with us as well. So I enjoyed this kind of a process. It's not all the time that you get to rehearse the scenes with your co-actor and to be able to do that over a few days. So for me, this was a really, a really, really fulfilling experience. A lot of work went into the preparation and I think, um, I hope that it's come out the way that we had all hoped for and the way that Sriram sir envisioned it. And that's what I try to do, and I'm enjoying what I'm doing, and that's the reason uh, I think so I'm getting some good work. I'm working with some great uh, directors, great actors, getting great opportunities, and uh, that's all. I uh, Well, you'll see me and Merry Christmas in something really different. I hope uh, you enjoy that also. I won't say it's grey, black, green, colour, but it's a very, very interesting role. And uh, I just had a question for Katrina, ma'am. So basically, uh, like, Big actors have a baggage on their shoulders, they have to cater to a very large section of the audience. And sometimes like actors get trapped in the like get trapped into it because like they have to cater to a very large section of the audience who prefer routine content over something which is slightly different. So I just wanted to ask that uh, like do you uh, like try to uh, like the creative germ like you try to uh, satisfy your creative germ or you try to uh, like you try to cater to a larger section of the audience in uh, particular? I think, um, uh, of course, I understand what you're saying. You will fear, feel a little, uh, you can feel a little nervous or a little fearful when you step out of the zone of a large commercial entertainer. Um, but I think the solution for that is to be fearless and to overcome that fear because that experience and that reward is, is really incredible for an actor. And I think that that's an important thing for my growth as an actor and my growth as a performer. So I would just say, feel the fear and feel the nerves, that's good. Let that drive you and uh, give every film your heart and soul, which is what I try to do. Right, Pam, do, you, do you feel that uh, that can do that in like a, a smaller audience or something compared to the large audience that you usually cater to? Like, is that a fear? You know, I think that every film finds its own audience and I think the story will, we've put out the story now, um, our trailers are out, our songs are coming out now, and the people to whom it is connecting, that's our audience. I think Sriram Raghavan has a very loyal fan following and um, I think that let's, uh, we, we've put our best into it, we've made a film I think we're all proud of and it will now be for you to judge on January 12th, and uh, we're all looking very forward to we're all looking forward to seeing the audience's reaction. Thank you very much, and we are having the party on the 16th, as we've already discussed. Now we we'll do a little photo up, ladies and gentlemen. I just take the uh, mics. Can I have mics? Okay, Aram sir, Aram sir. One straight picture. Looking everybody here. Everybody, look in the center, please. Okay, thank you. Can I have the cast on stage only, please? And Sri Ram sir, please. Cast and Sri Ram sir. Yes. Remember, give me the sequence that you want for the photographs. You have to say it. Just the actors on stage now. And of course, Sri Ramsa, you have to stay here. Thank you. And Sri Ramsa, thank you. And just the actors now. Yes. In the, yes. Actually, can you all come a little to the centre because it's not in time. Centre? Yeah, it's Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, Sanjay sir, thank you. Yes, just the two of you together.